And the crowd goes mild. <gasps> the origin story of Jason Voorhees! Hello, and welcome back to the Spanless Gamer, where I'm playing every Sega Master System game in rough order of release. And I have three games today. I have Paperboy, Slapshot, and Super Monaco GP. And our first game today is Paperboy. And that was the title screen. This is the box art. And we have a derpy-looking Paperboy who's coming at you with a paper from the Times. And we've got a mean old dog there, kind of like... That mean old dog. Look how mean he is and vi vicious and tough. He protects me. Uh, so that's that's a pretty wimpy dog compared to mine. And back of the box, paper boy, get ready for the ride of your life as the new paper boy for the neighborhood. What a neighborhood. Watch out for runaway lawnmowers, a boom box or two, a guy on a unicycle, and of course, break dancers. Every day, you make your rounds delivering papers to your subscribers. Throw the paper at the wrong time and you might break a window. Throw it at just the right time and you might break a window. At the end of the day, you gain and lose subscribers depending on your performance. Crash too often and you will be forced into early retirement. Uh, not a good pension fund with the Paperboy Union. The more experience you get, the tougher the obstacles. Watch out for the construction worker. Pedal faster to get away from that dog. Look out for that car. Oh, well, it's just another day in the neighborhood. All right. And we've played Paperboy on many a system. This is... Okay. Okay. Easy Street, Middle Road, or the Hard Way. We'll do easy street. Okay. And... Okay. Good at this. I am not. I do like my cape. Okay. He wants a subscription, right? He gets it. There we go. Yeah. Get the... They're not a subscriber. Uh, yeah. Okay, slow down. Throw the... Shit. Stupid breakdancer. Not a subscriber to my newspaper that I work for and I care about. So the modern reboot of Paperboy, do you just throw apps at people's houses? Alright. Oh, I'm at... Okay. Stupid dog. Not you, Cooper. You're a good boy. Daddy's just trying to deliver papers. With his cape on. Yeah, obstacle course. Yeah, do it. Whoa. Canceled. I'll show you canceled. Why is the C in score missing? Who knows? And why am I still playing? Who knows? Everybody gets a paper, you get a paper, and you get a paper. And, and that guy gets a paper in the face. You get a paper. I right there. Want one? Yeah. Break your window. Take that. Yeah. Mysterious vandals baffle police and references. Blah 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 blah. Ooh. Yes. Asked. Damn it. I have to play the whole thing again. Let's rate it. So graphics. It's been a while since I played the actual arcade game. I suspect any problems I have with the graphics are just because it's probably a 
just a good port, I'm guessing. I'm going to give him a five and a half. Does that sound right? Sure. Five, five point. Yeah. All that, all those numbers sound. Uh, I mean, it's the arcade sound, so you can't fault it too much, but I'll give it a four music. It's kind of classic. If you grew up with this game, not too impressive. Four and five, uh, just kind of a repeating loop of a single melody. Uh, story, you're a paper boy. We'll give it a half. Controls, controls are good. We'll give that an eight. Funness, um, it gets old after a while, but it, it can hold, you know, holds your attention for a little bit. So we'll give that a six and a half for fun. And we'll give it a six for holding my attention. And overall, it's going to get a six. Good port, you know, paper boy, limited gameplay. Uh, let's see what's next. Our next game today is Slapshot, and if you haven't guessed from the name, it is a hockey game, and the box art looks like this. Um, we have John Sega, who is number 16 for that, that blue team. Uh, he's, you know, going the wrong direction, I think, right? Because the goalie's wearing a uni different uniform, so you'd think he'd be headed towards the goalie or away from his own goalie? I don't know what's going on. I just, maybe I don't know hockey. Slap shoot. He's streaking down the left side with the puck. Suddenly he cuts in, passes to his teammate in the slot. He shoots, he scores. What a play. Get all the hard hitting excitement of real hockey with slap shot. Shooting, passing, teamwork on offense, and lots of checking, blocking, and general chaos on defense. Play an exhibition game or enter the tournament and play against the top teams in the world. Watch out for the other team's goons, though. They like to fight. If you get in a brawl, come out on the losing end. You'll have two minutes in the penalty box to lick your wounds. Accept the challenge, take on, and defeat the best in hockey. Once you start, you'll be hooked, huh? I get it? Yeah, you'll be a hooker. All right. <laughs> And the crowd goes mild. <gasps> the origin story of Jason Voorhees. Press the start button. One player. Uh, exhibition. C pool league. B pool. C sure. Holland, Yugoslavia, China, Hungary, Bulgaria, North Korea. North Korea. <laughs> okay. North Korea and just Korea. Australia. Ooh, look at the coach of North Korea. That that's a look. I got the B pool. Norway, Italy, France, Switzerland, East Germany, Austria, Japan, and Denmark. And the A pool league: Canada, America, Soviet Union, Poland, West Germany, Sweden, Czechoslovak, and Finland. Finland, Finland, the country I most like to be. Uh, yeah, Chuck Norris, manager of America. And I guys got nose. Cool. Oh, I can't choose from. I wanted to go America versus North Korea because that'd be amusing. Let's do Canada or America rather, whatever. Soviet Union. Player one versus computer. Your your your. American blue guys versus those Soviet Union pinkies. Oh, I get it. I see what you did there, Sega. All right. <sighs> get the puck ball. Yeah. I don't know how to do anything. Pass it to that guy. Shoot! Ah, shoot it! Shoot it more! Didn't know pucks were brown. It's a choice. And the Soviet Union scores the first goal. Here's your instant replay. I know what side the crowd's on. Okay, ready? Ready? Hike! Oh. No, don't shoot it. Can 
can I score a single goal? I mean, North Koreans could. No, I passed it to the pink guys. I want to pass it... Oh, don't pass it backwards. Pass it to that guy. Oh, I tried to be fancy. Get into a fight. Do something interesting. Oh, you can take that? I didn't fight that guy. Oh, he tripped me. Mom! Get it. Come on. Come on. Get the puck. Get the puck. Slap the shot. Gleam the beam. I just suck at hockey. Slap shot. Graphics. I'll give those a five. Uh, sound. I need to know your work address. Would you like to provide that now? No, Alexa. Thank you. And uh, sound. We're gonna give a. This really gives me a charge. That's. Oh, sound of four. Music. I like the music. I'm going to give that an eight and a half. Story. It's a hockey game. Controls. Uh, they seem pretty good. I'll give that eight and a half. Funness. A seven. That would have been a fun two-player game. Uh, and doesn't hold my attention. A four. Just because it's a dated hockey game. And overall, we're going to give that a seven. That was a pretty good little uh, hockey game for those early, easy, uh, arcade, action-y type sports games from this era. Let's see what's next. Hey Alexa, what's next? Our final game today is Super Monaco, Monaco GP. And the box art looks like this. It's a race car. He's Super Monaco, he's GP, and he's going up against game. Game. Back of the box, fly up the track. Well, flying, that's a different type of game. I fly up the track on long straightways or downshift into neck wrenching hairpin curves. Super Monaco GP sends you screaming around the most demanding tracks on earth in the hottest race car ever built, the Formula One. Choose your car's transmission, slide through a practice run with an automatic transmission or battle rival drivers grinding gears to victory piloting a 3, 5, or 7 speed machine. The on screen track display gives you a lay of the road and position of the other drivers. The Super Monaco GP World Championship sends you and your pit crew on a 16 crew race international circuit. Burn rubber with the best drivers around in a piston-pounding test of speed, road savvy, and endurance. I'll do that. Vroom. One player, Grand Prix mode. Yeah, that's how you spell ass. Machine set, yes. Transmission automatic. Sure. Wing. Oh, gotta go with type 3. Engine. Uh, yeah, that one's middle. End of setting. Thank you. Test run! Okay. So, the bottom of the screen is just uh, where I started from? For reasons. Look at me going straight! Ooh. Is there another car in the road, or is that... I don't know. There is another car. Who's that guy? Get off my test run. I like how on the turns, part of the road is on the extreme sides of the screen. See? Look at on the right there. Oh, maybe you can't. It gets cut off on the stream. I don't know. Yeah. 
back on the road, you idiot. Can I... Can, can, can I just play the game with, like, a car and the drivers and competition? That's two. The revenge. Grand Prix. Just do it. Yeah. I'm in 13th place. So why does the bottom of the screen just show me that guy? Oh, I was paying attention to the other guy. This is just as exciting as the test run was. Look at all the scenery going by. You get, you get that little sign. Those little signs. A bunch of grass. Yeah, such excitement. This game is... I don't know about super. It's just called it Mediocre Monaco GP. And Sega had better racing games already in their system. Because they had like uh, Outrun and uh, uh, that other game, Hang On. Oh, those were better racing games than this. I'm in 12th. I'm the champion. Little known fact in Monaco GP, the goal is to be 11th place. Yeah. Mm hmm. Let's get, get in top 10. Can we get into the top 10? Probably not. And I crashed, and I don't care anymore. Graphics, they're a little glitchy and wonky, and I don't know why the bo half the screen is taken by some other car randomly. I'm just going to give that a uh, four. Sound was okay. We'll give that a four and a half. Music, was there any? I have 44. What is going on with my keyboard here? Oh, okay. Let's try, what are you doing? Hello? Ah. Okay, try that again. No. Yes. I think I wanted to give that sound a four and a half. No, four. Yeah, music. Uh, uh, zero. I don't think there was much of any. Story, zero. Controls, meh. They're okay. Doesn't feel great. Um, funness, uh, two. Does it hold my attention? A one. And overall, it's going to get, uh, we'll give it a two and a half. That was Super Monaco GP. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next game.